Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I made a video and the last video that I made was my ATAR reaction video which did really well and made me realize that I should probably give some further advice on how I studied in the HSC. So my most successful subject in my HSC was in maths where I got 99. Since I did so well in that subject I really wanted to share some advice on how I studied for that and the specific method that I used that I think is quite a like bulletproof method if you do it properly and I credit all of this to my maths teacher Tony Simic at Redham House he really drilled this whole process into all of his students and it helped all of us become really systematic with the way we studied maths and just really ace it. We came first in New South Wales for standard maths so even though this was applied for standard maths in my case, it's very applicable to all maths and also any subject. This method is called the playlist. Essentially, like you have on Spotify or Apple Music, a playlist is an accumulation of questions that you've found challenging throughout your studies, um, whether that's through the textbook or through practice papers. The point of the playlist is that after you've completed all these practice papers and done all your textbook questions for homework, you have this accumulation of questions that you found particularly challenging and the ones that you kind of needed to try again. Now, in a basic sense, you accumulate your playlist throughout the term as you're studying new content and doing homework throughout the term and you only complete and revise the playlist closer to the exam dates. The reason you do this is because you really want to get through the content and really make sure you've tried every question that your teachers asked of you and then found the ones that you found challenging. And the way that you keep track of these questions, because you're gonna complete like thousands and thousands of questions over the course of your HSE. So the way that you keep track of it is through two things, highlighters and sticky tabs. These will be your best friends for this process slash for the whole HSE. One thing to note for any math subject, you need to ask your teacher or make sure that you have access to solutions, not just answers. Solutions are full working out with each step of working out to get to the answer rather than just answers which just have the answer and don't tell you how to do the question. All right, so I'm going to take you through an example of one of the chapters in my textbook and how I use the highlighting method to accumulate my playlist questions. You'll see here that all of the questions that my teacher asks us to complete are highlighted in orange then as i'm completing every single question the ones that i hesitated towards or needed the solutions to figure out i use the orange highlighter to mark it as a playlist question so you'll see here 8c i've used the orange highlighter to mark it as a playlist question and in addition to that i've added an orange sticky tab which tells me in the future that i need to ask my teacher in person in the next class about that question because i couldn't figure it out so there's two levels of marking playlist questions. One is just using the highlighter and that just tells yourself you need to do it again because you still understand it, but you just need to try again. The other is using the sticky tab to tell yourself that you need to bring this up in the next class and really ask the teacher to explain it to you. No harm in that, always ask questions. That's like the number one tip that they give you in HSC. So once you've applied that process for your entire textbook, you're gonna have a huge bank of playlist questions from every chapter and this will save you the hassle of redoing basic questions again because it's going to point you straight to the questions that you actually struggle with and the ones that will actually challenge you so you'll see in previous chapters for example i've got a playlist question here and here and here so then once you've made your playlist what do you do with it as i said earlier you're only going to revise the highlighted questions in the lead up to your exams or your test period. So you've studied the content in the entire term, you've learned all the content throughout the term, and then when it comes to exam period, you've already identified exactly what your revision material is, all the highlighted questions and the tabs as well. Now, that method is mostly applicable in the earlier stages of the HSC, but in the later stages of the HSC, leading up to the HSC itself, you're gonna be using a lot more practice papers. And that's where, these beautiful folders come in. So, the playlist method requires you to be extremely organized. Basically, you're going to go to Officeworks and you're going to get a 
folder, a good folder, only the ones with this flat back. I had about like this much worth of folders and um, sheets accumulated by the time I had my HSC, just for standard maths alone. So this is what my folder looks like if I flick through it. You can see that every practice paper and every solution to the practice paper is neatly placed together. And you can see on the very front page the questions that I've added to the playlist. All right, so we'll use the example of this independent trial exam from 2022. How I would approach doing this exam. First, you're gonna run through the whole exam. Don't have to do it under time conditions. Just do the questions like you would textbook questions. As I'm doing each question, I'm comparing it to the solutions and answers and marking each as I go. Mr. Simic would also say, be honest with your work and don't cut corners because ultimately you're trying to help your future self be able to answer any question that they throw at you in the test. So for example, even though some questions might seem simple, you gotta highlight it if you struggled or if you relied on the answers. Another note, you know, do your full working out so you can see exactly what you've done and in case there's a, an error in your previous lines. And so you've closed the paper, you've finished it. Now you're gonna write at the very front of your paper on the top, you're gonna write the questions that you added to the playlist. You need to do this because it's a really accessible way of noting your playlist questions. And in my case, my teacher uploaded all of our practice exams and content online. So even though I feel this paper physically, when I do my playlist questions, I do them online. As in, I use the online version of the paper and then write my answers and working out in a standard notebook. That way you're not printing unnecessary amounts of paper just to answer like five questions from a practice paper. Also, if you're going through the solutions for a question that you found challenging and you actually don't understand the solutions itself, that's also something you can playlist and bring up with your teacher. Okay, so you've gotten through the term, you've gone and accumulated this list of playlist questions. What are you gonna do? First, as I just said, you're gonna use the online version of the practice papers to bring up the questions that you struggled with. Then you're gonna go through them. And now what happens if you struggle again with a playlist question that you've already done? You're gonna add it to another playlist. Bruh. I think by the end of HSC, I had about three different rounds of playlists for the questions that I found difficult every time or could never answer by myself without the solutions every time. So to help you figure out these questions um, without once again wasting paper, you're just gonna use the original printout of the papers that you've gone through. And with the, the band of playlist questions at the top, you're gonna use symbols. Like I use a line or a circle to symbolize that this is a playlist question that I need to do yet again. So first level is just highlighting the question and doing it again. Second level is you've done the highlighted question, you struggle with it again, so now you need to put a circle to symbolize that you'll need to do it again later on. The third symbol, if it really became desperate and if I really struggle with a question every single time, I use a star or any equivalent symbol just to tell yourself, you know, you need to do this specific question just before you go into the test. In terms of my actual process on how I go about this, I do my textbook questions inside my notebook. If I have a playlist question, I mark it in the notebook so that it always just stays in one place, which is then different to when you're doing past papers. In that case, you're gonna complete them in the paper itself and then use the online copy for when you're doing your playlist questions. It's been a long while since I've done the HSC, but this method was really extremely helpful and very easy to follow during my time studying. After doing every single question that my teacher sent me and then doing the hard ones again and again and again and again, I found the HSC exam very easy. And that's not to sound arrogant or stuck up, but it makes sense that if you really hash out the concepts that make up all the past papers, then you're going to know exactly where the exam writers can test you. The playlist method might seem overwhelming at first, but if you have any questions about it, um, I really am happy to help. If you have questions about the HSC in general or about any other subjects, let me know as well, because I did pretty well overall and have specific study tips for each subject. So let me know and good luck in your HSC. Take breaks, look after yourself and good luck. 
See ya!